I am Parisa. And I am Yupei. Today we're going to interview some international students studying here at Seoul National University. Aren't you guys curious about your experiences being like? Let's go! Hi, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Samuel. I'm from the UK. I grew up in Italy and now I study naval architecture and ocean engineering here at SNU. Um, my name is Tan Chun Su Ao, but people here just call me Sua. And I enrolled in 2019 and I'm a fourth year student in civil and environmental engineering. And I'm from Myanmar. Okay, so my name is Emma uh, and I come from Sweden and I've been here in Korea for uh, about uh, four and a half years now and I'm currently a student uh, here at SNU studying Korean history. My name is Germán and I'm from Mexico and I'm currently studying business administration here in SNU. I'm, my name is Dior Bek, I came from Uzbekistan and I'm a software student majoring in economics. Hi everyone, I'm Naveen Rajan. I'm currently in my fourth year doing electrical and computer engineering at SNU. Why did you decide to study in SNU? I've always wanted to study abroad and I chose Korea because I'm familiar with the language and the culture mm -hmm. and since you have decided to study in Korea so why not just go for the best one so it oh, came, SNU yeah. came naturally and I believed studying SNU would open up more better opportunities and experience overall for me so I chose SNU. Mm -hmm. Well with Korea being the current largest shipbuilder in the world it we came naturally to come and study in Korea and SNU, being one of the top universities and also not many universities in Korea teaching this subject, it felt like the right choice. Well, my Korean teacher back home, she told me that SNU is the best university here in Korea and after doing some research, I found out that it's not only the best university here in Korea, but it's one of the best ones in the world. So, what do you most like about studying at SNU? I like how big the campus is. There's so many coffee shops and so many places to study. And I also really like my professors. They are all really nice and they do inspire me a lot. I think the people, and by that I mean including both the professors and the students, yeah. they are probably the most hardworking and enthusiastic people I've ever met in my whole life. <laughs> so it's kind of admirable and also it motivates you a lot. So yeah, the people I think. Well, the campus is really huge and I love the nature uh, which is present in the campus because of the mountains, the trees, especially during spring and fall and when the snow falls. So I like the nature which is present in SNU. What has your experiences with offline classes been like? Um, I, offline classes have been amazing, you know, the, the lecture rooms are very nice, you've got space, you know, plugs to put your computer in and be able to do proper note taking. Uh, especially in today's electronic age where you've got everything synced, it's so nice. So is this your first time for offline classes? Yeah, yeah, this semester is my first offline semester. How is the experience studying like, for offline classes? Uh, it's been great, it's back to be in the classes and meeting the people in three dimensions <laughs> <laughs> and seeing all the students on campus, it's, yeah. it feels like the school is like breathing again, back to life, so it's yeah, been great. I yeah. agree with that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I had offline classes for a year and then COVID happened. But at first, I didn't like to go to offline classes because uh, I had to get up every day and like uh, go to the classes and move like to different classes. But then after two years of online classes, right now I like to go to offline classes. Yeah, uh, because like I, right now I get to know about like, you know, friends and like, you know, meet professors, talk to them and get to know more information. Yeah. so. I really like offline classes right now. Um, where are your favorite spots at SNU? Um, before COVID, like I used to stay in the dorm, and uh, there is a place called Agorium at 920 Building, where all in international students go and meet there, and you where you can get free coffee and snacks. And also during night, like you can see a lot of uh, students studying there, preparing for exams, and doing the homework. And it was really uh, interesting to meet. Uh, so many uh, international students there, and I really like that place. Well, I think my favorite spots are in the business building. Uh, we have like a new coffee shop, the name is The Roaster 59, and I really like to go there with my friends and study. The coffee is really nice, so you should definitely go there. So, since I'm in the College of Humanities, as Korean history part of the College of Humanities, I actually really enjoy going to a place called Dahayeon, okay. uh, which yeah. is a pond here on yeah. campus. and. <laughs> It's very nice to just sit down, maybe like bring a book or like, unless you need internet, it's actually quite a good spot to study as well. Mm. So how and where do you hang out with your friends in SNU? 
Usually, I really enjoy taking walks because, as I said, mentioned, I really enjoy the campus, and so Ooh. just walking around here, it's actually very nice talk, walking and talking. Yeah, I also enjoy walking in SNU. <laughs> so, being an engineering student, I normally go to the College of Engineering International Office, mm -hmm. which has, uh, for international engineering students, has a place to relax, study, and uh, ask questions, and it's a very nice place to go with friends, and it's really enjoyable. I would say we don't choose place. Uh, we go somewhere we, where we can grab some coffee oh. or some yeah, beverage, you know. And any place, pretty much, in SNU campus. Yeah. Uh, do you have any memorable classes at, classes at SNU that you want to recommend to other international students? Sure. In my second year, I took a class called Men and the Universe, and it was an astronomy class. So my major is not related to science, so it was really interesting to me to learn about uni the universe history. So I really recommend to anyone to take that class, yeah. So I think one of my favorite classes has been a class with uh, Professor Lachure, uh, mm -hmm. which is called Korean Language and Culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so before I came to Korea, I did know quite a lot about Korea already, and so I wasn't sure if I was going to learn anything new from this class, as it was quite basic. But then still, I ended up learning some things that I was not expecting, and so it was a very enjoyable class, thanks to the professor, and the contest was very interesting. I think contemporary life in Korea it's taught in English and it's where you can discuss about various social and historical issues in Korea and it's taken by a lot of like various types of students like international students, exchange students and Korean students so yeah I definitely recommend that. Oh yeah I attended a class called Engineering Technology and Society where people from Hyundai uh, they come and do seminar every week and you also get to do internships and uh, do you know start, start up innovative ideas and I like the class a lot. So how has social distancing affected your studying in SNU? So to be honest, it was for the first time like a little boring, but I get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then taking offline classes yeah. seemed to be a little bit boring. <laughs> to be but you know, yeah. the offline classes, I think it's pretty much like face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with teacher and yeah. with others, networking stuff. Well, uh, at first I didn't like offline classes, but uh, you know, as I realized that I started to like offline classes more, I started to miss uh, uh, hanging out with friends and like meeting professors. And also, like before COVID, I get to uh, go for so many seminars. But uh, during COVID and because of social distancing, those events did not happen. I also miss uh, so many international student events like CESA or like uh, festivals, which I uh, did participate before COVID because of social distancing. Uh, those events did not happen, so yeah. Well, it definitely affected my study li life here in SNU because I didn't get to experience the festivals and nothing like that, but it's really nice that it's over now so I can finally get to experience SNU. So initially I was not really a big fan of having to go online because I was a little bit worried about like being able to focus in class and such, but I realized quickly that it's actually quite convenient because I could go anywhere to study so I was able to explore other parts of Korea while still studying at this yeah, university. Right. And last question, what do you want to say to international students who are interested in studying at SNU? Um, well, one thing I would uh, recommend uh, international students who are think of applying to SNU is to learn Korean before they come to SNU because without knowing Korean, it would be a bit difficult to uh, be here. But if you know Korean, uh, this would be one of the most memorable experiences in here. I think just go for it. I mean, just, I mean, you're going to have hard times here and there and you're going to be sleep deprived during the exam seasons, but it's all part of the experience. So just go for it. And one thing I like to add is um, study Korean hard. I mean, <laughs> you can have a great experience without like being fluent in Korean, but if you are fluent in Korean, it, it's much better and much fruitful. So yeah, study Korean hard. Hi team. Hi team. <laughs> uh, well, I would say practice Korean a lot before coming here, because uh, it's always it's always going to help you a lot, both surviving like everyday Korean life and uh, life here at university. Otherwise, just like take your time to enjoy your time here. Well, I will say to them that if you have interest in SNU, you should guys definitely come here. But before that, make sure to do some research, not only about SNU but also about Korean culture and Korean language. Today we interviewed so many international students, hope you got the answer to all of your questions, and if not, 
please leave the comments below and press like and subscribe button. Yes, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. Bye.